What you need to know about TPMS. There goes that orange light again. It's the TPMS warning light, and most of us have seen it at least a few times in our driving experience. It means that one or more tires are underinflated, and it won't go away until it's addressed. Let's talk about why it's there, how to get rid of it, and what happens if you need new TPMS sensors. TPMS stands for Tire Pressure Monitoring System. It was created by the government who in the fall of 2000 enacted the Transportation Recall Enhancement Accountability and Documentation Act, or TRED Act for short. This act made it mandatory for all vehicles made on or after September 1, 2007 to be equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system. Many of us think it's a big hassle, but the TPMS system is there for some good reasons. One, it helps you save money on fuel since underinflated tires are one of the biggest fuel wasters in the nation, to the tune of 2 billion US gallons yearly. Two, it helps you save money by extending the life of your tires since underinflated tires are the number one cause of tire failure due to heat buildup and sidewall disintegration. Lastly, the TPMS system gives you overall improved on-the-road safety because safer tires equal safer driving. The good news is that when the warning light comes on, it's fairly simple to get rid of it. First, you need to know where the low-pressure tires are. Some vehicles will tell you specifically which tire it is, and some vehicles will just give you a general warning. The first thing you should do is manually check the tire pressure in all four tires. Make sure you know the proper tire pressure for your vehicle by finding it either in your owner's manual or on the information sticker located inside the door panel. Then fill her up. Afterward, the light should turn off. Speaking of these sensors, sometimes they can malfunction or you might just find out that you need a new set of wheels and tires. If that's the case, you're in luck. We happen to know a guy. Here at SD Wheel, we install tons of different types of TPMS sensors every day. If you need new TPMS sensors, you should know about the process of their installation. First, many TPMS sensors must be programmed with a special programmer tool. We do this when your wheels are ready to mount onto your tires. Think of programming as giving the sensor a specialized language to communicate with your vehicle. Programming is the first step in getting your TPMS sensors working. The second step is called TPMS relearning. Think of this relearning step as the process where your vehicle learns your new sensor's language. Some sensors will complete the relearning process simply by having you drive your vehicle for a while. When you get your new wheels and tires installed on your vehicle, we recommend you drive with them for up to 50 miles and see if the sensors sync with the vehicle. You'll know they have when the TPMS warning lights have shut off. If the sync hasn't occurred, the warning lights will remain on and you'll have to take it to a non-dealer auto shop. But don't panic. Think of this step as taking your vehicle to school to learn the new language your sensors are speaking. Typically, they'll use a scan tool or OBD2 tool on your vehicle to help your vehicle's TPMS receiver module learn each sensor's language. This is an easy process and shouldn't cost more than 15 to 20 bucks per tire. Once your vehicle is all synced and everything is speaking the same language, you're free to get back on the road, being confident that you are driving as safely and efficiently as possible. Remember, we're always here to answer your questions at SD Wheel. Our trained customer service specialists will help you get the answers for all your TPMS questions and more. We know you want the best for your vehicle, and we want to help. Just go to sdwheel.com for all your wheel, tire, and lift kit needs. Quality, pricing, and service. That's SD Wheel.